just entering into budget season here in Washington, so we're going to hear a lot of talk about budget resolutions and appropriations, deficits, debts, and reconciliation. I thought it might be helpful if I spent a minute explaining the federal budget process. I hope it helps to make some sense. So here goes, the federal budget process in 60 seconds. First of all, the president submits his budget proposal. It comes in multiple volumes the size of telephone books and includes detailed proposals about how much taxpayer money the president wants to collect and spend. Congress basically takes the president's budget proposal and ignores it. Beginning in March, the House and Senate Budget Committees work on congressional budget resolutions. Unlike the President's budget proposal, congressional budget resolutions are usually just a few pages long. Like a family budget outlines how much you're going to spend on your mortgage and food and transportation, the congressional budget resolution outlines how much Congress will spend in broad categories like defense and health and transportation. The budget resolution can also include reconciliation instructions to direct changes in existing law like tax reform. Now the House and Senate each pass 12 separate appropriations bills, and that process starts this summer. If a budget resolution is like your family's budget, then an appropriations bill is like writing a check from your bank account. The overall amount for each appropriations bill is limited by the amount set in the budget resolution, but the funding levels uh, for each program can be shifted from one program to another. So if Congress wants to add a few dollars to pay for one program, it has to cut funding from another program. About a third of that money is borrowed. Congress is on track to borrow about $480 billion this year. That's the budget deficit. Over time, the budget deficits have added up to more than $18 trillion. That's the national debt. I hope this little tutorial on the federal budget process has helped. Thanks for everything you do.